Hello, I'm here with Lucy Lynch from English Lacrosse and we're talking about juggling a full-time job and being an elite athlete. Hi Lucy. Hi. So, what job is it that you do and what are the challenges that you face with doing that and the commitments with lacrosse? So, um, primarily I'm a teacher but I'm also a housemistress so I look after a boarding house of 60 girls um, which is fantastic and I love it but it doesn't always go brilliantly hand in hand um, with being an elite athlete because my busiest time at work is in the evenings and the weekends and that's where normally people do a lot of their training when they're trying to combine work um, and training so um, I fit my training in when I can during the day usually um, in between lessons um, and I'm also really fortunate to have an employer that is so supportive of, of my lacrosse pursuits and actually this World Cup in July will be the third World Cup I've played in whilst working for the same school so they've been really patient and really supportive for a long time. So your situation is slightly unusual to the nine to five but what would your advice be to anyone that either has a job similar to yours or has a nine to five? Um, I think, well I know when I went for my interview a long time ago, I was very honest and upfront about you know, what I thought I could bring to my role at work, but also what I was doing outside of work so that my employers knew what they were getting into. Um, and I was also keen to sell actually the advantages of having an employee that is kind of trying to get the best out of themselves in other areas of their life, not just their work. And what are the benefits that you find with your elite sport and working? Um, I think maybe this is job specific, but I think probably the number one thing is, is teamwork. So working with my teammates in lacrosse means that I can bring so much more to um, the times when I have to work as a team at work. So whether it be the other staff in my boarding house or the other members of staff in the PE department, um, that teamwork aspect I think is really important. And, and I'm sure any employer would want someone with that sort of characteristic. Um, and also probably just, um, discipline and maybe some mental toughness thrown in there. Those are things that I think you have to learn um, as, a, as an elite athlete and it can be really useful in the workplace too. And there's also a more direct crossover isn't there in your particular circumstances that you bring to the team? So I'm one of, um, we call it the six senses, so it's just a leadership group within the squad and we're, we're uh, really a platform between the rest of the players and the coaches. Um, so we're trying to pass information up and down and really look after everyone in the squad. So in a way that's kind of similar to what I do at work when I'm looking after the 60 girls in my boarding house, trying to look after the, the rest of the girls in the squad too. Excellent, thank you very much. You're welcome.